Boys, it is finally here. We finally have the brand new Beyblade Burst Dynamite Battle Starter Set. And I really like it for the most part. There are a couple issues, but let's get right into it. Before we talk about the set, hit that like button. We're trying to hit 1,000 likes again. Hit subscribe to join the Nook Nation to help me hit 300,000 subs. And I've said this before, if you have not joined the Mall of Toys giveaway, join it now so that way you can possibly win yourself one of five Dynamite Bellials. Link in the description down below. So guys, this set just came out in Japan a few days ago, and it comes with a brand new revised stadium, Dynamite Belial in a new recolor that actually looks pretty cool, a pretty standard launcher grip, and the new Dynamite Battle LR launcher, which I have some thoughts about. The biggest thing that I care about in this set has to be the new stadium and then maybe the launcher a little bit. But guys, the first part of the set that we are going to look at is going to be the launcher grip. Um, I really wanted to skip past this. It's not a revised or crazy launcher grip at all. It's just a standard one that we've had for like years and years and it's in this kind of black and gray color scheme. Cool, I already have a bunch of these, so I don't really care. Then after that, we have the brand new Dynamite LR Launcher, and I'm worried about this. I actually have both versions of the LR Launcher that have been released so far. This is the one that came in the set, and this is just the extra accessory that you can buy. Apparently, there are different plastic molds for the launcher, A1 all the way up through A4, and apparently A2, that mold is a little problematic, and unlucky enough, I have the A2 model. And I'm really hoping it doesn't break because I like the way this launcher looks a lot. And it's the launcher that came in the friggin set. I want to keep it. But I don't want to say if it's good or bad just yet. I do want to battle with it way more. And I'll let you guys know if it breaks or the issues that I have with it whenever I make its own video. And now guys, we are going to move on to the bay. The cool recolor the pink and gray recolor of Dynamite Belial. Now, it may look a little bit bland to you guys, and that's because I have not put the stickers on this bay yet, but I don't really know if I'm gonna put the stickers on it at all. Whenever I get recolors of bays that I already have, typically I'll just keep the stickers pristine and I won't put them on the bay, but let me know, should I put the stickers on Belial? It comes with all of the exact same parts as the normal release, and really, it's just a fancy recolor that's kind of clear, and it's pink instead of gold, which some of you guys may not like, but I think it looks pretty good. But like I said, I do want to keep this bay in really, really good condition because it's a recolor, so I probably won't be battling with it too much. And then finally, guys, we have the brand new stadium. If you haven't heard what's different about this stadium compared to the normal base stadium we've had for years at this point, uh, the inner circle is just a little bit bigger. In fact, the entire stadium is bigger. We also have only two ring out sections instead of the typical three like we had in the old version of the stadium. But the ring out sections are bigger, so it's going to be really, really hard for a bay to go out of the stadium and then like pop back in so that's pretty cool i guess but guys i do want to save most of my thoughts and my early review of the stadium until after you guys see the test battle so let's test the stadium out so guys here we have the brand new stadium uh, i don't have the lights around it like i normally would for my old stadium because i haven't gotten lights just yet but I am going to, so expect a little bit of color next time. But in this video, we are going to be trying out the same bays that we battled Dynamite Belial up against whenever I unboxed it, because I want to see just how the battles are different. All right, it's on the outer ring. Belial, is it going to come back down and crash onto Fafnir? Or is it just going to stay? Oh, there we go. It lost a little bit of its power there, to be honest. If only it popped down a little bit sooner. All right, this one looks like it is going to be pretty close. But... Oh, wow. That is either a tie or Belial might have won that by like a quarter of a spin. 
It looked really, really close. Oh, here we go. Belial is pushed to the outside edge again. Come on. Swing down. There we go. Oh, not able to deal really major blows. Oh, Fafnir's up there now. Okay. Dang, so it kind of seems like bays really do get trapped up there quite a bit. But Belial is able to win that round, so... Okay. Alright, come on. And stuck up there again. Oh, okay. Big hit. That's what we've been waiting for. Alright. Okay. It was a little boring, but... Hey, Belial struck back. Okay. Oh, big hit. Both bays colliding. Oh, oh, come on. And Belial able to make a couple of decent hits yet again to take that dub. A little bit of an update on the launcher, guys. I have noticed that whenever I launch, sometimes it doesn't go all the way back in, which is kind of annoying. It'll stop like right here and then it'll kind of to slowly go back in and it makes like a noise i don't know i i really hope this doesn't mean that it's gonna break soon i know i got the kind of bad mold apparently but i don't know we'll just have to see oh decent strike oh good hit on belial right there sent to the outer rim of the stadium and it looks like Belial's gonna win this one yet again against Death Solomon. All right. Now, guys, we are gonna move on to the matchup that I am the most excited for. We have a left spin attack type up against this right spin attack type. And with this new stadium, we really could see some explosive battles, or at least I really, really hope so. And plus, Rage is just absolutely insane. I love this bay. Let's get right into it. Oh! Both bays on the outer edges of the stadium, taking turns. Longinus waiting to strike right now. Oh, both bays it again, and Longinus is able to send Belial out of the stadium. All right, okay, good first battle. I dig it. Longinus staying to the outside. Belial making little taps. Uh-oh. Dude, as long as it's just gonna wait this out. Oh, comes in for the attack. They exchange spots. Come on. Let's see it. Oh, Belial might win this by stamina. It's gonna be close. Yep, Belial does take that dub. Oh, big hit! They collide and roll. <laughs> Longinus sends Belial out of the stadium yet again, but it did go out itself right at the end there. And that, guys, is going to wrap up the test battles in this brand new stadium. Let's move on to our final thoughts. And there you have it, guys. Those were the test battles in this brand new Dynamite Stadium. And overall, I like the stadium quite a lot, although there's one thing I'm just not really sure about. I really like how the stadium is bigger and it really does make battles with these larger bays a little bit more exciting. And also, if you have more room, I think the bays are gonna have a little bit more power. So we may see more burst finishes than before. Although we'll just have to wait and see. There is also a new outer ridge on this stadium, which you guys saw. And I'm just not really the biggest fan of how it works. I think it's a little bit too flat because you guys saw that like Rage Longinus even kind of got stuck up there for a little bit and it kind of just brings the battle to a really big pause. Now, as soon as the bay gets going again and falls off the ridge, you can have some really exciting contact or something. 
but it's a little boring to see a bay just kind of get stuck up there and just hoping that it comes back down pretty soon. Overall, I like this set quite a bit. You do have a full stock combo of Dynamite Belial, so you don't really have to buy the normal color unless you just want it to be anime accurate. You get the brand new stadium, which I think is still an upgrade from the older one, even though I'm not the biggest fan of the ridge. You have a standard launcher grip, which is nothing crazy. And you get the brand new dynamite launcher, which I like so far, although I am worried about some versions of it breaking more than others. So just be aware of that. If you guys want to buy this set for yourselves, I would recommend Mall of Toys. I do have a link in the description down below that if you use, you will help me out. And if it's your first order with Mall of Toys, you can use code one Linux. I'll have it down here and you'll get 10% off of your first order. But thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Once again, we are trying to hit 1000 likes. Subscribe to join the Nook Nation to help me hit 300,000 subscribers. Join the Mall of Toys giveaway for Belial. There's only like a few days left for that. And I'll see you in the next one. Have fun and bay away.